What I have in my hand here is one of the most powerful swords in nuclear attack mod, the Baleful Meteorite Sword, which does a whopping 500 attack damage, making it capable of one-shotting most mobs in modern Minecraft. But in order to get this sword, there is an entire progression of 11 more Meteorite Swords as you can see on your screen here, which you need to go through. So in this video, we are going to see how to do that. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's start with the first sword which is going to be the normal meteorite sword and as the name implies you will need to find a meteorite in order to craft this. Now meteorites will spawn naturally in your world if you have not disabled them in the configs or you can even summon one using the remote. Now once you have found a meteorite start mining it using any pickaxe. Once you mine the meteorite you will get a meteorite fragment. This is the main thing that we need in order to craft a meteorite block. So quickly mine down the entire meteorite and there is even a chance of getting a meteorite treasure block in the very middle. So here I have mined out the entire meteor block and as you can see I got two full stack of meteorite fragments and another 49 more meteorite fragments. So now we proceed to the next step which is crafting all of these fragments into meteorite block and in order to do that we will need the assembly machine. So in the assembly machine place down the template for meteorite block and the assembly machine will convert 100 of these fragments into a single meteorite block. So for our first step here, we will need a total of 4 meteorite blocks. So I am going to craft them up real quick. And there we go. We have 4 meteorite blocks in total. Now next up come to your blast furnace and in the blast furnace, place down your meteorite block along with some cobalt ingots. And once you place them, the blast furnace will start doing its job and you will get meteorite ingots. So we need total 4 in order to craft a single blade. And here we have a total of 4 meteorite ingots. For our next step, let's go to the furnace. Now any furnace will work here. Simply place down your meteorite ingots in the furnace and the furnace will start heating them up. You will know when they are heated up when the ingot will start glowing like this. And as long as the ingots are in the furnace, they will keep on glowing, they won't lose their temperature. Now once the ingots are done, notice what happens when I take them into my inventory. As soon as I take them in my inventory and if I leave them there, you will see that they quickly lose temperature. And now we can't work with them. So once again, reheat the ingots and make sure that you are quick while doing this. So heat up 4 meteorite ingots and quickly take them into an anvil and here combine them in order to form forged meteorite ingots like this. So from 4 meteorite ingots you will get 2 forged meteorite ingots. Now once again let's heat these two up and we will combine them in order to form a meteorite blade. So make sure to place the anvil at a favorable position. There we go combine these two in order to get a meteorite blade. So that is one meteorite blade obtained. In a similar way, let's obtain another meteorite blade. And here you will see that if you are actually fast enough, you can do the entire process in one go. So we have four meteorite ingots. Combine two of them like this in order to get two and then combine them again to get a meteorite blade. So now that we have two meteorite blades, we can craft our first sword. Place down a stick with two gold plates and two meteorite blade in order to get the meteorite sword which will deal 10 damage in total. Second sword on our list is going to be the seared variant. Now for the seared variant, place down your meteorite sword in a furnace and heat it up. It's as simple as this. Now as soon as it is done, you will get the seared variant which will do 15 attack damage instead of 10. So this is the second sword on our list. Third up we have the reforged version. So for the reforged version, we will need another forge meteorite ingot. So let's quickly perform the process. You know how it's done. So I'm going to speed the footage up. Get two meteorite ingots, heat them up and combine them in order to get a forge meteorite ingot. So there we go. Now while this ingot is hot, combine it in order to form a forge meteorite ingot and then heat it up again in the furnace. And once we have the hot forged meteorite ingot, combine it with the sword in order to get the third variant, which is the reforged meteorite sword. This sword will deal 25 damage in total. For our fourth sword, we have the hardened variant. 
and the hardened variant will deal 35 damage. In order to get it, you will need any press like the boiler press or the electric press. I am going to use the electric one here and make sure that it has a flat stamp in it. Any flat stamp will work. So place down your sword in there and your sword will be converted into the hardened meteorite sword. And this sword will deal total 35 damage. Alright, so <laughs> there we go. Now for the fifth variant, we have the alloyed variant giving us 50 attack damage and for the alert variant we come back to the blast furnace again place down your hardened meteorite sword along with a cobalt ingot in a blast furnace and once the processing is done you will get the alloyed meteorite sword now for our sixth one we have the machine variant and for the machine variant we once again need a trusty assembly machine now in the assembly machine, start processing any recipe that you want to and place the sword in the battery slot like this. So this recipe can be any recipe. As long as the assembly machine is running, this process is going to work. So once the assembly machine is done, you will see that our sword has been converted into its machine variant and it is now dealing 65 attack damage in total. Now for our seventh variant, we have the treated one, which will deal 80 attack damage. And for the treated one, we will use the chemical plant. Now the process is going to be the same like we did for the assembly machine. So start placing or basically start processing any recipe in the chemical plant. I am going to do the recipe for hydrogen peroxide. So there we go. Now that the chemical plant is running, take your machine sword and place it in the battery slot. And there it is converted into the treated variant. Now for our final one, we have the etched variant, which will take us into the three digit category. And for the etched variant, we will need the ore acidizer. So with the ore acidizer full of hydrogen peroxide, place your treated sword in there and the ore acidizer will process it into the etched variant. And now we have total 100 attack damage on our sword. So that is the etched variant. Now coming up to the ninth one, which is the bread variant. Here we enter the nuclear category because now you will need the nuclear reactors and the research reactors. So for the ninth variant, we will need the research or the breeding reactor. And in the breeding reactor, we will need a total of 1000 flux. Right now we have zero. So let's fire up these research reactors real quick. Alright, so with three of the research reactors fired up, we will have a total of 1300 flux in the breeding reactor, which is more than enough to convert this sword. So place down the sword in there and the breeding reactor will process it and you will get the bread variant in return. Now for our 10th variant, we have the irradiated version dealing 175 attack damage and for this we will need the research reactor itself. Place the sword with the control rods raised up, place the sword in the research reactor and there you will convert the sword into the irradiated variant dealing 175 attack damage. What's important here is that the control rod should be raised up. Now for these final two steps we will need the fusion reactor. For the first step in order to get the fused sword it doesn't matter which fuel you use in the fusion reactor. For example, I am using antimatter and BF rocket fuel, but it doesn't really matter. You can use any fuel that you want to. So once the fusion reactor will start receiving its fuel, like start the reactor up and do remember that you need a blanket in order to run this reactor. So once you have water, steam, all of the necessary things required, take your sword and place it in the breeding chamber of the fusion reactor. So I'm just going to start up the reactor and place the sword in the breeding area or the breeding chamber sorry and the breeding chamber will start processing the sword and we will have the fused variant dealing 250 damage in total and for the final variant the most powerful one which is the baleful sword you will need balefire plasma which is made again using antimatter and bf rocket fuel this is pretty important so once you have balefire plasma as your primary fuel Go into the fusion reactor, the step will be the same, place your sword in the breeding chamber and then start up the reactor. So place your fused sword in there and then start up the reactor. 
and once the processing is done we will have the most powerful variant of the meteorite sword which is the baleful meteorite sword dealing total 500 damage even capable of one shotting the wither so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please subscribe and also like the video and comment down below what you would like to see next peace out my dudes